Tom White, your LGB Locomotives Pro. Uh, I'm going to demonstrate the Pico digital DCC power system that I have set up right now for my small outdoor railroad. Uh, in front of you is the Pico Central Station, we call it. Uh, DCC Digital Command and Control. It's powered by this transformer that is uh, 5 amps putting out 18 volts you can see which powers the central station and then it's connected to the out, outer loop track which I'll show you in a minute. And then connected to the central station by this cable is a Pico booster which can operate another isolated section of track which in this case is the inner loop and these must be isolated and I'll show you that in a in a minute and the booster unit has to be powered by a separate 5 amp DC power supply or transformer just like this one is right here DC uh, the Pico system says it can be powered by an AC 5 amp power supply, but from what I understand, it's preferable to use DC. And of course, the central station will convert the DC power coming in to DCC, which is an alternate form of AC power and the same with the the booster converts the the DC current coming in to DCC and powering the second loop of track also connected to this cable is the wireless receiver which is right over here and this is a Pico unit but Pico is actually made by the electronics by Matsoft in Germany. So the components are interchangeable and I'm actually using instead of a Pico handheld wireless controller, a Matsoft one. Again, it's all interchangeable. So the wireless controller, and of course this could be connected uh, by cable instead, but it's much nicer uh, obviously to uh, to walk around with a wireless device. I have all, I think I have about 14 or 15 locomotives stored into this. Um, it's called a Massoff um, Dimax Navigator. So the current one that's on here right now you can see is the rail truck, but I also have in the second separate control uh, aspect of this you can see the Unita is uh, locomotive is down in there too so I can actually control two locomotives at the same time uh, with this uh, with this navigator and of course it go the signals go to that receiver and then they go into the central station and then it's also uh, the central station also controls the booster unit. So even though these are two separate isolated track loops, which you can see right here, they are actually controlled through the central station. And you can see the isolation section right here. It's a little bit shaded. But there's two LGB track isolators in uh, this switch right here. But a locomotive can, with, with it set up like this, cross over from one loop to the next and continue on as if it was one integrated system. And of course the handheld navigator controls all the sounds that are available on the sound decoder or combined power sound decoder on each uh, each locomotive. 
So the nice thing about DCC, of course, is that you can control many trains all on the same track system separately because the decoder, the DCC decoder installed in each locomotive is what controls the operation of each locomotive. So this is a LGB F7A and F7B unit. It, uh, it did not have a decoder system in it uh, when the uh, LGB, the original Lehman LGB, produced it, but it has a interface for decoders in it, and I installed, you have to install two of the decoders in the uh, F7A unit, and of course the sound system, which is still the old LGB analog system is in the seven uh, F7B unit right there and of course there's cables connecting the two. So also on here we have a little uh, LGB uh, rail truck which I've installed a um, Soundtrack Tsunami 2 power sound decoder and I also installed LED lights in the front, which was a little bit of a challenge uh, getting that uh, set up. And then behind it is a Bachmann Climax locomotive, and it has a built-in decoder. It came that way with the factory, and uh, actually Soundtrax makes those uh, decoders for uh, Bachmann, the sound decoders. And uh, so I didn't have to install a decoder in that one. And then this is the Unitaw. And again, it didn't come with a decoder, DCC decoder, just DC uh, power. So I've actually uh, taken out the circuit board and put in a LGB decoder and a Phoenix uh, digital sound system and another uh, circuit board. So we're going to see how this all works and is uh, controlled by uh, the by the navigator. So I give you a and and of course there's the receiver. If I didn't point that out before, that receives the signals from this. Uh, this uh, navigator right here. So here's the small double loop outdoor layout that I put in 10 years ago and uh, haven't gotten around to expanding it but next year I hope to uh, throughout my backyard here. So it's about 65 feet of track in each loop and then there's also a siding here that uh, I also put in. So the first thing we're going to start up, since I have it already on my navigator, is the rail truck. And it actually has an electric uh, sound version of the Soundtrax decoder in it. And it's pulling a little hand card here. The sun's a little bright. So we're going to start that up. Do the bell first. Whoops. Didn't have the right button first here. There we go. So do a uh, step one here. Then we're going to start up the Unita here on the same track. I don't have the uh, decoders 
set up on this uh, layout. So that's in the second level here. So I'm going to give that some juice, and you can see, well, it's hard to see, but uh, there it goes. It hit number one down there below. Same track. Phoenix sound system. And of course I can control the whistle. It's number two, I believe. Whoops. up to speed seven since the uh, rail truck's catching up here. Beautiful sounding uh, locomotive. Okay, give some whistle here to the rail truck. Oh, oh. Okay, let's uh, start up the F7AB. So I have to switch to that locomotive on here to show you. So I'm going to press the locomotives until that one comes up. There it is. Okay, back to the F7AB. Had a derailment there that I had to fix. So we'll start it up now. We have that on the navigator. the bell. Okay, we've got all three running now. Two on the inside track loop and the LGB F7AB unit on the outside of it. demonstrating this is that uh, I understand that 80% of the American or the USA large-scale hobbyist uh, layouts are still DC powered and it's about 5% are battery powered and then 10% um, 10 to 15% that are uh, DCC powered like this. <laughs> 